Hey, what's up, YouTube? How are y'all today? This is Brad with Tough Tool Reviews coming at you with another Tough Tool Review. Rather, a Tough Tool Update. Uh, I already reviewed these when I first bought them. Uh, if you saw the video, I was very skeptical of Harbor Freight slash Pittsburgh pliers. Well, pretty much because they're terrible. Worst pliers I've ever bought. But these ones here, I wanted to get a second chance. So we'll get right into it. The Doyle channel lock like pliers, tongue and groove pliers, water pump pliers, whatever the hell you want to call them. Didn't really use them that much. They, I still stand by them. They seem like a quality set. It's got the nice rivet. They slide nice. They're loose enough to where when they start getting a little rust on them, they should still be able to slide. But, didn't use them, so I don't want to say exactly what I think about them yet. We'll wait. Uh, we'll come back. Maybe I'll compare them to actual channel locks that I got in my bag. We'll see. But we're going to wait. I'll take these to work where I actually get a lot of use out of them. We'll come back to that. Uh, we'll start out with the smaller of the bunch. These uh, Quinn brand needle nose. Man, I mean, I can't say enough that I did not expect this much quality out of a $4 pair of needle nose. $4. I mean, was this is a 12 gauge stranded wire and it's nothing to cut. I mean, you wanna do two, nothing to cut. And that's really, that's just their secondary purpose. That's not what needle nose are for. Love them. Four dollars. Go buy them. If you ain't got them, go to the store. Quit watching this video right now. Run to Harbor Freight. Spend four dollars on a pair of needle nose. These next ones weren't in the first video because I'd already had them at work. And we're still recording. Okay, I already had them at work. Sorry, I got a, <laughs> a damn text message. I didn't know we were still recording. So, I got these... Same time I got all the other ones, took them to work because I really needed a pair of the angled dikes, but I didn't want to, the angled dikes, I didn't really want to go spend 40 bucks on a uh, pair of clients, and there's not many companies that make them, make this design, the angled head and everything else. I mean, look how wide that gets open. I can put my damn thumb in there and chop it off. So, uh... If there's any mobsters out there, or anybody, if anybody owes you money, go out and spend the 10 or $15 that these are. And hell, you can throw them, <laughs> throw them at yourself when you get done with them. Uh, same thing, of course, if the needle nose can get through this, these doils make it easy. I mean, minimal effort. Done. Definitely worth the money. Uh, we'll, we'll wait till the Romex. We'll do we'll do the Romex when we get done with all of them. These I was very skeptical about, very very skeptical because I think they were eight dollars for a pair of linesman pliers. The Doyles thing are around eighteen dollars. I didn't want to spend that kind of money on something I'm not going to use that often. Like I said in the first one. These are just for at home and for side jobs. But, man, was I impressed by these. The only thing I don't like is, man, they got some sharp edges. And whenever you're pulling them out of your tool bag, if your pocket's a little small or they barely fit in there, sometimes they stick. But that is the only complaint. <laughs> and it's an $8 pair of linesmen. They're really smooth. I mean, one hand operate easy, and I guess I'll show you through 12 gauge stranded, but nothing, 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 nothing. So, let's move on to what typical people are going to see. The DIYer, you know, this would be big cable to most people, I guess. 12-2 Romex. I mean, uh, let me flip them around to the cutting side. 
Well, two Romex. We'll put them down here. Like nothing. Like nothing. Let's so say you got a bad grip and you're up here. Nothing. You want to go through the jacket and everything? I mean, and trust me, I did a ton of cutting with these. I mean, you can still see if the light will pick it up. You can see how much there's a copper tint to them. It's because I was using the hell out of these. Because I wanted to see how they would do. And I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Here. Let's go ahead and double this over. Now, I don't have the jacket on one side. But I did do this. I had two of them. Now, it ain't going to be butter, but it's easily cut. One-handed. I mean, I can't ask for more. Can't ask for more. If these were $30, I'd be happy with them. Uh, let's see. The, these dual dikes on Romex, same thing. Like nothing. Shorter handles, so you got to put a little bit more into them. But they're perfect. Even the Quinn needle nose. Well, I didn't get it. You got to get it all the way down in the jaw. And you do have to put some effort into it. But it will cut like nothing. So what do I think? I think you should go buy these damn flyers. I mean... Why spend $50 on a pair of linesman's, $20 on a pair of needle nose, and damn, whatever. I think it's $25, $30 bucks for their pair of dykes. It might even be around $40 for the Klein version of these. Don't waste your money. I mean, if you're doing it professionally, hell, I would take these out to the, to, to the, to the plant I work at as well. Uh... Yeah, I get laughed at a little bit, but who the hell cares? I'm going to get the same amount of work done with these as anybody else. And you know what? If they break, I'll take them back. I'll get another pair. Uh, even if I got to pay for them. $8, $4, 10 to $15. 50 bucks and I got a setup. If you're an apprentice, start out with this. Don't go spending... $500 on client tools and you don't even know if you're going to be in the trade. Spend some money, get some decent tools, go to work, see if you like the industry. If you're a DIYer, you do a little bit of electrical work on the side, you need some pliers at home, no question. Go get these. Alright, like I said, I was going to try to keep it short. Hey, little brief update. I got a couple subscribers. And not even people I know. You know, uh, oh yeah. I'm not even part of this. You know, I'm entering to win the tools, but there's a guy named Marcus, and I haven't even talked to him. I haven't talked to anybody in the group. I'm not officially in the big dogs of the tool tube community, but I just, I love what he's doing so much. He's, he's giving away tools. Uh, if you look up hashtag Marcos Tools, you can see the videos, you can learn how to enter. Uh, like I said, I'm not even in it. I just think it's a really cool thing. Uh, they inter they'll introduce you to some really uh, smaller channels, bigger than mine. I'm the smallest of the small right now. But at one point, damn AVE and Real Tour Reviews and all of them people only had four subscribers at one time uh, am I gonna be as big as them no do I have the personality the the inflection in my voice to keep people captivated no do I like making these videos yeah so I'm gonna keep making them if you don't like it I don't give a shit so like I said hashtag Marcos tools you can see some really cool people enter to win uh, some snap-on tools uh, I think Snap-on is mostly what I've heard of them giving away so far. By liking and subscribing to a video or a channel. It's going to be better odds than them damn scratch-offs you buy every day. 
But till next time, my name's Brad. Awesome pliers. Go buy them. Subscribe to me. Like the video. I have not had a comment yet, so if you want to leave a comment, you'll be the first comment. But until then, catch y'all later.